Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today, we have NECA's Gremlins Ultimate Stripe. And I want to do a huge shout out to Red Cup Reviews. His link to his channel is down below. Check him out. He actually hit up Toy Fair. Got some good videos of that. So definitely check him out. Um, but it's definitely a big shout out because he had a contest. I went for it and won. And the supplier of this item was Collector Zone. If you guys aren't familiar, their website's down below. Their Facebook group, Collector Zone Cantina, is down below. And their YouTube channel. Check them out. It's another way of obtaining figures and getting them delivered straight to your doorstep and saving you gas and the headache. But this box of this figure is phenomenal. It's, it's the normal Gremlin box, but then you got like Stripe bursting out. And then he's like, we're here. And then he crossed that out. It just, it's, it's a really cool design. I really like it. And it is that sort of like they faded the art a little bit to where it looks very retro. And it blends in with the rest of the art. It looks great. Uh, it does say Gremlins on top. Gremlins on the side. That's basically they just slap this thing on everything. And then on the back, we do have a little bit of a read up. Then we get pictures of Spike and his goodness. And that's a great shot because you can get those ultimate Gremlins to set with them. Looks really good. So really, really cool. And, and as always with NECA, boom, you get the awesome product shot there. And you get to see all that you're paying for in the package and what you're going to be getting. And that's awesome. It's They're not scared to show off what you're getting. Nothing's hidden behind borders or anything. You actually see it all right in front of you. It's great. So let's go ahead and get Stripe out of his prison. And Stripe, just like the other Gremlin, looks fantastic out of packaging. NECA just nails sculpts. Like, their, their artists, their designs, their sculpt work is on point 100%. Now, he does come with three accessories. I'm going to start with the weakest of them all. He does come with a saw blade. It's done well enough. Um, you can see on the saw blade, there's like sticky residue from the tape. Because they tape it into the package, which then it gives it that sticky residue. I, I think this would have been nice if they would have put a little bit of detail or markings on the saw blade instead of it just feeling like it's silver plastic. But it's a saw blade. So we get the saw blade with it. Then we get a skateboard, which I, I don't like the, the wood grain underneath. Let's get it to focus there. Yeah, the wood grain just doesn't look like wood grain to me. It's like they, it's like a clear plastic on the bottom, but then they painted, let's see if I can angle it right, and they painted on the wood grain. So I'm not, unless that's supposed to be a design or something, but that's supposed to be, I think it's wood grain, and I'm just not feeling it. Um, if it's supposed to be something else, uh, anybody watching this, you know, comment down below, because that definitely, it's like clear plastic with like painted on lines. But... The 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 trucks are really nice. They do say actual NECA on them. See that there? It says NECA, cast it in a really nice silver. Got all the details you'd want right there. So uh, the wheels do spin, and they're casted in a clear red plastic, which is really nice. So NECA, I, I really like this part of the skateboard so far. This part I'm not I'm not feeling. I feel like you guys could have just like sculpted it or something. Um, and it's, it is thin, but maybe, I don't know. It's not feeling the wood grain on the top. It does have a texture. It does feel rough and grippy, like grip tape or grip paper. Um, I just wish we would have got the detail of the screws, you know, there would have been, you know, four here, four here popping through maybe a little bit of wear on the tape would have been nice too, or even on the board, that would have been cool, but you know, Either way, we got a skateboard that does, you know, it rolls or whatnot. Now we get the best accessory, in my opinion. We get this amazing chainsaw. This thing is sexy. Like, it's sculpted. It's painted. It's detailed. It's got text all over it. It's exactly like the authentic chainsaw. And it's an electric chainsaw. So you got this power cord that's painted at the tip, silver and everything. 
even got the little sculpted in holes in the plug and everything. Um, this is not super pliable. Um, so I don't know how much it can take, you know, being bent around and stuff. I feel like it might want to like snap out of there if you're too rough with it. Um, but it's a pretty light and hollow chainsaw. Like this is hollow and everything. Um, you can sort of see how it's put together there, but it's still gorgeous. Like it's, it's perfect for all you articulated comic book artists out there. So very cool. And I mean, you can use it with other things, I'm sure. So now you're here to look at the figure. Well, what's the difference on this figure? Well, his face sculpt to me is different. Paints a little bit different. And, uh, Wow, he's a little bit too close and blurry. There we go. So we get that nice texture throughout. And his jaw, I didn't realize, like in the package, it'll sort of open a little bit. But his jaw is hinged like the other ones. And it's awesome. And it's almost, like you can hardly see where it's at. I love the fact that you can't really tell. Even when you're looking straight on. Is it a hinged jaw? I don't know. It's open. Is it a hinged jaw? I don't know. Again, I love it. I love the hidden articulation. Now, his ears do move. I never mentioned that on the other gremlin. The ears move. You can see there's a disc hinge right there, right? Now, I didn't move the other ear, but I wanted to show you out of package. Look at that paint up there. It's peeled right back. And if I go to move that ear, it's going to just do that on both sides. It's, it's sort of the issue of painting that part of a figure. And it, that's really what's going to happen is it's going to start looking like that. If not, all the paint's just going to go away. So if you want to keep it clean like that, don't move the ears. Uh, and, and again, the eyes are painted beautifully. The body has just great paint apps to it. it. It just looks so good. It actually looks like I'm holding a little, like a real gremlin, even though I think uh, these aren't too B scale. You know, they would actually be bigger. Um, the Mohawk from this point of view does look great, but then when you start looking at the side, it starts losing it because it has this just like, it's like a piece of fabric glued down. Like I wish it would have just, I, I understand why they had to do it. Cause you want the neck articulation, and everything. Um, but it just looks weird. It does. It just looks like he has a Mohawk mullet. Or, or a mohawk with a tail. Then we get the uh, paint apps on the thighs. And everything looks just really good. The sculpt is great as well. Like Again, there's nothing I can really say. It's a crazy looking back. I really never realized Gremlins had this type of butt. Definitely an amazing figure. Now... Articulation besides the ears that I mentioned, then the jaws. Let's get into how this guy's head moves. So his head can move left and right. Can look up and down. You can see it. You can probably hear it. It's a little bit tight. His neck can, I guess it's meant for rotating because it has like the two parts. So, yeah, so not much articulation, you know, enough. Enough to give him some attitude and look up, look down. Now his arms are a whole different story. So you got this awesome sculpted in, almost like like layered scale mail in a sense. But when I go to lift up the arm, I can hear the paint rubbing. And you can see, no you can't because it's blurry. And I hit the camera, but I wore some paint a little bit right there. So I wish they would loosen up the shoulders a little bit. I don't even want to lift this arm up. Because again, like, where is this going to go? You're, you're forcing this to rub against the, the arm hole. But his arm does go up. He does have a elbow bend, a, you know, swivel or, you know, a little bit of movement and the elbow. And he does have wrist rotation Andy does have a wrist bend that just doesn't want to bend. It should. But I'm not going to force it. I am not breaking this figure. <laughs> so uh, then we get into his abs. The abs again. 
uh, you know, it's on that like ball joint. So you get a lot of motion. This is actually not a bad, uh, ab crunch or ball joint or anything. This actually moves very nicely. Get into his legs. I did rotate them a little bit. They sort of click, um, kicking forward. I mean, that's basically it. <laughs> like I rotate it. You can rotate it. I don't, oh, there it goes. That's scary. Um, this knee does, I'm not even going to try it. There is a knee bend in there. And again, it's sort of the same. Yeah, I don't want to, it's, it feels like it's going to snap. Let's see if the other side will bend. Okay, this one does. So you get that type of knee bend like you should. So you get that type of motion, which is good. Then you get another disc hinge, which... Yeah, that one doesn't really... You can sort of see how it's supposed to move. But it's... It's crazy. And then... Yeah, it's actually almost like... It's a little too loose. But it's like, it's loose, but for... And it doesn't really work. So it's a joint that's loose, but doesn't allow you to move it. So his ankle should bend, you know, back and forth like so. And it has a pivot in there. You can see... But again, having a little bit of issues with joints with these figures. This has been in my room waiting to be result, uh, reviewed for a couple days at, you know, a nice temperature. No reason for the joints to be like this. Like, you can see that I'm barely moving this one. And it, it's moving some stuff, but it's not really like functioning the way it should. It's just almost like they're just loose. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that is the chance you take with NECA. I mean, with the very tight, risky joints and breaking your figures and hoping you can exchange it out and all that stuff, you get an amazing looking piece. These are more, get them in a pose and display them. So he rides the skateboard fine. Um, you do have to find that happy balance with the figure um, because I'm going to show you. I guess he's rolling fine now, but it does function very similar to a real, um, as he's wanting to lean forward, let me just let him, let him lean. But as you can see, the, uh, skateboard itself sort of does the, have a little bit of give on each side. Um, it did get some little bit of scratch marks on it, but yeah, so he does slip off sometimes because it does have, it's not solid. It actually does shift left and right like a skateboard should. Um, and another thing, uh, he, he can hold his chainsaw very well with this hand. But since his wrist, and I even popped the hand off to try to see what's going on with this, uh, this hinge in here. It's just stuck. So I had to actually rig his hand underneath like that to hold it because he can't bend his hand enough so if i rotate it like this like he just it, it just doesn't hold it properly it's like too loose you can see it's supposed to rest probably bend his hand down a little bit rest on his fingers but i can't because of that joint and again that's just my uh neca curse that is the issue that i have it seems like with all my neca figures that is uh and, and it's disappointing because I really love their products. It's just, come on, man. I don't, I shouldn't have to boil my figures to get them to move, put any lube on them. I shouldn't have to do all this extra work to enjoy my figure. I mean, especially for the price point, because you get your money, uh, your money's worth, but they're not a cheap item to purchase especially when you start getting into the ultimate editions you would think with them being ultimates that they would fix the issues with the joints and stuff by the time they became ultimate but uh let me see if i can get them into any other poses with the issues i'm having so i just grabbed the slime blower uh raised slime um from the diamond select toys ghostbusters 2 figure and i uh, just crammed it in his mouth <laughs> i made it look like he was spewing uh pink slime and stuff just a neat little thing that you can do um if you have that other figure so it's just that slime piece so honestly this figure it has its issues um and trying to get them into all their poses like i was trying to get them all like posed up with the skateboard and stuff 
but those joints, like, it's just so, it's giving me so many issues. Like, for once, when I need his ankle to be tight and to be able to balance, like, he couldn't because his ankle was, like, that weird loose, so it kept, like, falling over and everything. So, I mean, if you need a stripe for your collection, he's definitely worth getting. Just don't expect to get in any crazy poses or anything like that. Um, and honestly, I just hope, and I really hope that NECA actually watches reviews of their products or at least gets to know like, Hey, fix these joint issues. Like we love your product. We just want to be able to utilize these products and not worry about stuff breaking or something. Or if it does break, make it a little bit more convenient to swap it out or have replacement parts on hand because it's not convenient when stuff breaks to try to find one at a store, rebuy it and then return it or all that. It's just not, it's not convenient. But uh, as for this figure, I like it. I'm grateful I have it. I'm going to pose him up in some a pose that makes me happy. It'll just be probably him holding the chainsaw. Maybe he'll stand on the the skateboard, maybe. But definitely he'll be holding the chainsaw and have the other gremlin I have next to it. So it's definitely a nice looking figure. And the accessories are pretty nice. It's just overall the articulation. just it, It's there. Just the joints are too tight or too loose. And they just don't function the proper way. So that sums up my unboxing and review of NECA's Gremlins Ultimate Stripe figure. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Because I'm always pumping out content. And uh, I want you guys also to comment down below. Let me know how are you guys doing with NECA figures. Have you purchased this figure? And have you had issues with it? You know, I want to know your guys' feedback. You guys watch my stuff. I want to hear from you, your NECA experiences. So share some stories down below. I want to know all your guys' little stories and issues you've had with NECA. And they can be good. Don't don't have to be all negative. I want to hear some feedback about your guys' experience with NECA and uh, see if I'm the only one that's having this, like, back-to-back -back issues with these figures. Now, if you're wanting to pick up some NECA figures, um, you could definitely hit up Collector Zone. Again, Facebook and their website is down below and uh, again a huge shout out I'm very grateful to Red Cup Reviews um, his YouTube's down below definitely hit him up check his reviews out check out his Toy Fair information but it's just awesome that he did this giveaway collab with Collector Zone um, so definitely keep an eye out maybe they'll do that again in the future who knows but definitely keep your guys eyes peeled because that's what we do in the YouTube world we try to give back when we can and we try to educate you guys um but i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day